All right, day one of the 2017 Paradise Jam here inside the Vine Center underway. Game one in the books, and the Mercer Bears knock off the Liberty Flames by the final of 63-48. to Alongside Paul Nazigan, my name is Nick Pierce. Tough day here for the Flames. They take their first loss of the year. The record is now 2-1. and one. The Bears go to 3-1 and one with the win. And, Naz, this was a tight, competitive game through the first half. Flames only trailed by three at the intermission, 28-25. But it was the second half, some clutch shooting from Mercer, and really the Flames offense was just never really able to get on track. Yeah, it, it was a close game. It just sort of felt like it was farther of a gap because just offensively the Flames really just kind of struggled. Every basket was, was a grind. Um, some of that was, I think, just Liberty, you know, just – not, not sharp today, but a lot of it, too, was that Mercer Club is a really good basketball team, and their defense really put it on the flames. Nothing was easy, so a long day for Liberty this afternoon. Yeah, not, uh, certainly was a long day for the flames. Uh, Rion Holland, 13 points today for Mercer, 10 points for Dimitri Rivers as well. The backcourt from the Bears doing good work here. Jordan Strawberry, nine points. He also had six rebounds from the point guard. But, uh, yeah, the Flames offense just really never was able to get clicking. Uh, Ryan Kimright went 0 for 7. That may never happen again for the rest of the season. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, uh, you know, and offensively, you know, you're going to see early in seasons, you're going to see teams struggle at times or, or be inconsistent. Good game, bad game. You know, players, too, will have good games and bad games. The fact that it's so, sort of all had it on the same game, you know, you Again, when are you going to see that? Uh, Flames have a lot of good balance scoring, so I think this was sort of an anomaly. Um, their defense, go, I think, was the bright spot for them. They did play well. Uh, again, playing in the 60s, that's how they want to play. Again, dictating uh, tempo and offense, that's a good sign. Uh, they do have some things to clean up and a quick turnaround tomorrow, but I look for this one to kind of be one of those ones you tuck away and uh, move on to the next one. Oh, one of the Flames that did have a good day offensively was Lavelle Cabell. He finished with a game-high 15 points, 6 of 12 shooting. Also had three triples. We caught up with Lavelle and Isaiah Williams after the ball game. We continued to fight to the end, even though things weren't going our way. We weren't making shots. Um, it's tough, like I said, but I think guys just got to remain confident in themselves. Just remain confident in all the reps that they put in before the game and just be ready for the next shot, the next possession. You can't think about the last shot that you missed because that'll probably result in the next shot being missed. So you just got to keep remaining confident throughout the game, even if the ball is not going through the room. I feel like we started off slow, so I think that's what it was. We picked up our energy a little bit late, so I think that's what the difference in the game. We got great looks tonight. We just didn't knock down shots that we usually make. Only can focus on the future and focus on the next game. Man. It won't happen again. We, we won't have a slow start again. We'll have a good defensive game next game. Again, 63-48, your final score, Mercer over Liberty in the first ever meeting between these two programs. All right, so tomorrow, Naz, it will be either Drexel or Houston. Liberty will be playing at 12 noon here inside the Vine Center. Drexel kind of in a retooling mode. Houston, a very talented team coming off an NIT berth from last year. Yeah, well, uh, you and I get to do a little scouting here and uh, watch the next one. Uh, but, you know, in a situation like this where you have such a quick turnaround, the key thing is rest. They'll watch some film, I'm sure. Tonight, come back for a shoot around, which I think will involve just a lot of shooting on the home floor, get a lot of reps, get this one out of your system, and uh, just mentally be ready to come back and really battle at noon tomorrow. Flames back in action here tomorrow afternoon against either Drexel or Houston. And we'll have the live radio coverage starting at 11.30 a.m., 98.5 FM in Lynchburg, WPLY. And uh, we'll have it for you on the Liberty Flames Sports Network from BWSC. Until then, in Lynchburg, for Paul Nazigan, my name is Nick Pierce, 6348. Mercer wins it over Liberty.